So this is called the this is called the Extreme Seventy Five. It's a mini. How do they describe this? Mini nine eighty. Um, very interesting looking. Definitely very interesting looking. So let's see. All right, guys, some little things I'm going to show you guys first. This is the keyboard we're going to be doing today. I don't know why it says High Finger 7.5. I'm guessing that's another name for this board. Extreme 75 or the High Finger 7.5. This is an interesting keyboard. I'm going to use the word interesting tonight a lot. And when I tell you guys interesting, I literally mean like, I don't know how I feel about the layout. It could be someone's cup of tea. Don't forget, that's what this whole community is, this whole hobby. That's what this whole hobby is, dude. There are some interesting things about this build. I was like, what the hell is that on the PCB? But it's like a little... Have you tried CJ switches? Um, I just got them in, I have not tried them yet. I will try them ASAP for you guys though. Is this a hot swap? Oh, Pog, it's hot swap. That is huge Pog. I like how they give you extra sockets. Nice. Um, yeah, I like hot swap keyboards. All right, so I guess let's open this up first. Holy gaskets, dude. So, okay, take a look at the layout. Everyone take a look at the layout, all right? I want your thoughts on this layout. You guys will notice that it's missing some spots here. Okay, I guess my only, like, I just, the part I don't understand about this particular layout is we went through all the trouble to add a numpad, but then we decided to make this a 40% style keyboard here. I guess I, I guess, okay, obviously like there's someone for this, but I guess I kind of lack the understanding of, it's like a, so guys, it won't have the brackets. It won't have like, you guys will see it's more compact. But then I guess I lack the understanding of like, why not just extend it by two keys at that point there? Like we're putting everything else on it. So I don't, I don't exactly know who this is for. And I'm guessing once we build it, maybe we can find out. But as of right now, literally no idea. Um, but apparently there's like a lot of like combinations you can do with keys. I don't know, we'll find out. Why not just make a full size at that point? Kind of what I was thinking. You know, I have a motorized screwdriver we could use. I'd say it's unique. And I'm excited to see what it's gonna sound like. Cause I do, I still strongly think that there's probably a fan base for this. So we'll, we'll see though, for real. We shall see chat. I love how Alex is always so honest with his thoughts. I, dude, I feel like if I can't be honest uh, about reviewing stuff, what's the point, you know? Because I think a long time ago, if you guys remember, I was like, I don't know if I want to review things. But I think about that point now where it's like, I'm comfortable enough with like what I like and how to present my biases towards people that I'm comfy with it now. Is it USB centered? We can find out here in a second. I really like the weight on the back. Me too, actually. I really do like the weight on the back. The weight on the back is cool. It has some like um, texture to it, I guess, too. Like it's it's raised where the brass is. So that's kind of neat. I really, really like the layout since I'm a 40s guy. Perfect, Pander. Yeah, like I said, there's definitely going to be people for this. I don't want to come off as like rude towards the layout at all because I know there's going to be people who really like this keyboard. I, I just don't see it for myself so interesting we have a little diffuser over here for an led and i don't know what the led is for we have our plate which is a polycarbonate plate 
interesting. Uh, we got some foam. We have another piece of polycarbonate, probably. Um, and then we, ha we have PE foam, which we'll put in because I'm interested. And we have bottom foam. Okay, so and then we have more bottom foam. That's the most foam in one keyboard I've ever seen now. We have now reached the peak level of foam. We're going to use it all though, chat. Yeah, I like the JST route here. This is kind of nice. This is kind of neat over here. I don't mind this, and I like the fact that the foam actually covers it and peaks out only in one side. Um, you guys know my thoughts on foam. If you guys like foam, don't let anyone else tell you to not use foam. Um, anyone who uses foam and likes foam, by all means, dude. If you like foam, if you don't like foam and you tell people that you don't like foam or you tell people that a keyboard shouldn't be built this way because of foam, seriously, you need to like grow up. People are allowed to like things that you don't like too. So there we go. It's been said, dude. Um, it's perfect for an internet warrior who loves the numpad who hates punctuation. <laughs> There's that, dude. All right, let's get some stabilizers, which I forgot to go grab. Let's take a look at this PCB though. 2022 is looking like it's going to be the year of the TKL. I think so too, Arch. I honestly think it's going to be a year of TKL. Oh, there's a lot of LEDs. Oh, this is a cute little PCB. In that case, I love clickies. Like what you guys want to like, dude. Remember, you guys are the one paying for the, the fucking keyboards. Remember that. Nobody else is. The people criticizing your color choices, the, the people criticizing what you put inside, the switches you put in, the keycaps. They didn't. Guess what, guys? They didn't pay for the keyboard. You guys did. So, all right, let's, let me get some stabilizers quick as well. Are there no sockets for the split backspace? We can probably set that up. Um, I could probably solder that in for split backspace. You know what? I might do that. I kind of want to. I kind of want to do split backspace on this. I feel like it's more appropriate than a regular backspace because I don't think I would use that. So you know what? Let's do that. Let's take out a set of stabs and let's do that. Hey, caught you on Giant Bomb uh, stream today. You were great. Thank you so much. I was a little nervous at first, but then I kind of warmed into it. It was fun. It's definitely really cool to see, like, what other people think and, like, what other people outside the keyboard hobby, like, want to know about keyboards. Like, it's definitely interesting insight, you know? I think the co most common question I get is why for, like, custom keyboards? Like, what got you into it and why? I think that's, like, the most common thing. What is my favorite layout? I think right now it's 65 and 75. I think I'm, I'm slowly migrating back to those favorites.
So we're just gonna be soldering on two hot swap sockets here just cause we wanna do split backspace. Updates on our outlook on the Vertex, the Anno of it, because I did a full ass inspection before I opened it today with you guys. The Anno is pretty nice on that board, dude. And the whole quality of it is really nice. Um, so far, I'm liking it, but we're going to have to do it. I don't have the right space bars for this. I think I need to go get a different set, technically. Anyways, I'm just gonna test it. I might have to use Kaiju for this. Cause I don't have split bar support with this. They're wasting around resin anyways. A little more in the container won't kill GMK. Yeah. Split space? Yes. We're doing a split space bar today. Why not? We could have soldered on some hot swap sockets for this and done it, but why not, dude? Live life a little differently today. And... All right. Stabs are good. Now let's put everything in their hot swap sockets here. I'm just gonna take this off for now. We're done with this. I don't really know what this was for. I think these are just like extra pieces of PE foam, which we're just not gonna worry. They look, dude, they look tasty, right? Like these look good. They just look kind of, they look like crystals. I like these. These are really pretty looking. This is, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is probably gonna be one of my favorite, like these are, sorry, this is always my favorite time of when we build keyboards. Cause I like looking at the board like this. I think this is just so pretty. I love this, dude.
okay. I mean, it looks kind of cool. That white LED trend. I'm not sure what the point of that is. So, interesting layout. Interesting layout. I wonder. Oh, I muted myself? Dude, I knew I did something. I knew I did something, dude. Because I was hitting function plus things over here. Okay, 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 okay. Black Lotus is actually kind of a nice set, though, for real. Look at Black Lotus, dude. Ooh. That still sounds like a nice guy when muted. Thank you so much, Archetype. Well, this is the keyboard here. In terms of, like, quality of everything, Anno seems fine. Um, the weight's kind of cool. I like this weight at the back. I'm not going to lie. I kind of do like this. I think this board actually turned out pretty interesting. Um, I don't really have any, like, major... I would say, like, okay, the way the bottom foam is implemented is kind of annoying. I think the gaskets... I would like to put that on the board rather than the plate itself. Um, better cable routing. We just need to find a better collective way to do the JST cable. Uh, and then... I don't like the spacebar or the delete. Everything else is fine. So you can actually set this up with a regular spacebar. You don't have to use split. And you can make this as a regular backspace over here. This board kind of sounds pretty fire though. You guys want to hear a sound test? Hold on. Should we do a little sound test really quick? Let's turn off the fan. Let it rip. Take care, Sterling. So happy to... Oh, wait, are you leaving, Sterling? I don't know if you are, but if you are, take care of my guy. I appreciate the kind words, man. All right, let's do a little sound test, dude. Hmm. I hear pings. You know what? I actually am gonna give this keyboard a fair shot. I kind of want to use it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like try using it. Numpowd sound test. Oh, did I not do that? I thought I did. Okay, so obviously for everyone who's like wondering, it, yes, it sounds like a PE foam board, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that, and I think it feels really, really good. Um, if you're into this sound profile, again, you don't have to use the PE foam. I like this. It feels pretty good. Can you put a 6.25 on those bars, wondering how it would look like? You can. Um, I didn't put it on this rendition, but you can install stabilizers. I just wanted to use the split. The benefit or reason people like split space bar. So, okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think the benefit is obviously the sound sounds great with the 6.25 or 7. But I think in this case here, you can activate this as like a different layer while holding down this one here. And realistically, my thumb doesn't actually go like over here to press the space bar. So, so you can activate this as a different layer. That's what I would use it for. And that's probably what I'm going to program this to do. Uh, that makes sense for 40s actually. Yeah. And then also we have the function key, which means we can just go over here. But I'm going to program this to being everything. Put this backspace on one side of the split space bar. Yeah, you could also do that too. You don't. You can bind the backspace over here. I mean, like for what this is, how much is this again? Hold on, let's find out. I'm actually curious to see how much this is. 
I still think this is like a neat little layout if you guys want to try your hand at this. I think where I would kind of get lost is missing the brackets and stuff over here. But I think that's probably easily to easy to remember by just holding, sh like you're holding shift anyways. So I don't think that's like a huge deal breaker to me, considering I don't really click those keys that often. Um, But this is going to be, let's see. I don't actually have a price here, do they? First 200 orders will be in stock. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, expected prices. So there is a Bluetooth model, I believe, or BLE, which I'm assuming is Bluetooth. Um, 300 for that or 270 for wired. Wow, interesting. 270 is actually like not that bad. Um, yeah, that's actually not that bad, dude. Two layers instead of one to be perfect for this board. You know, I'm actually, I'm okay with it. I actually like this set a lot, first of all. Dude, you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I really like this this keycap set. Black Lotus is kind of hog. I'm probably gonna put this on the the, the angle. This is a really nice keycap set. I'm, I'm really like into this right now. I think 270 for like a different layout, if you guys are interested, it's not that bad. This layout would be perfect for working at a hospital actually. Yeah, I mean, there's that too. You can use this for work if you don't need brackets or anything i almost really like uh it, i use a tkc candy bar now except i do not use do anything with the right shift oh interesting yeah dude i i think this is pretty cool i think this is a neat keyboard as much as like i would probably have to adapt myself to this layout like this sounds pretty nice too